writing and graphing linear equations. And we're going to focus on writing these equations in the form y equals mx plus b. And we'll learn about that here. We're going to start with this word problem. Anthony runs a bicycle courier company that charges $3 per delivery plus 50 cents per mile. Write an equation to describe the linear relationship. So basically we're going to write a linear equation. And a linear equation is an equation between two variables that forms a straight line. If we graph this thing, it would form a straight line on a graph. And um, we're going to write that linear equation in this form. It's going to be in the form y equals mx plus b, because this will help us graph this. So it's important to understand what the y equals mx plus b stands for. And the y and the x here um, really are just our, our standard variables when we graph, our y and our x axis. So we're used to those. Um, the m is going to stand for the rate of change, what changes in our word problem or our scenario. Or if you're looking at a graph, the slope of the line. And you'll learn more about that um, as you move on through your math. But that's what the m is going to stand for. The b is going to stand for the value of y when x is 0. And that can be explained like this. In this word problem, remember he has his bicycle courier company. He charges $3 per delivery plus 50 cents per mile. So you, it's $3 just to rent the bike. So before you've gone any miles at all on this bike, you're going to have to pay $3. So the value of y when x is 0, in this specific word problem, I know it's going to be 3 because you're going to pay $3 before you go anywhere on this bike. Then you're going to pay $0.50 cent to every mile, and we could figure that out too. Um, but the b is the value of y when x is 0. So we're going to write this equation real quick. And it shouldn't be too bad, but we're going to start by making just a little table to show you how you can work this out. You can draw this on your page, but we'll just give about three values for this. And we'll go here, just a couple of values. Um, maybe we'll put distance on the left. We will put cost on the right. And so we'll fill in some values just so we understand what this word problem is saying. So um, distance. If we have gone zero miles on this bike, how much are we paying? Well, I talked about it previously, but um, we kind of write this out. It's three dollars plus. Um, how much does it charge to rent this bike? It is fifty cents. So I can put zero point fifty per mile. Well, if we haven't gone any miles, it's going to be zero miles, and that's equal to fifty times zero right here is zero and I just have the three left over so I would get three just like we talked about well what if I rode one mile what would I get well you'll kinda see the pattern here we still have three dollars to rent this bike but now we have our fifty cents and we're gonna pay fifty cents for one mile so oh, okay this is gonna cost us three dollars and fifty cents because fifty times one would be fifty cents and then we add the three dollars one more, uh, we'll put two in here, I guess. So we wanted to go two miles, so I filled that in early. It's three dollars to rent this, still 50 cents per mile. We're going to go two miles, and now that should equal four dollars. So we can kind of get our values here as we go, but we can fill out a table to have this make sense. So now we can use this, we can write our equation. So the equation goes like this. We always write it in the y equals mx plus b. So the y is going to equal. The m is the rate of change. What is changing each time? Well, what's changing is this 50 cents per mile, um, the miles. So it is going to be the 0 0.50, which we're also representing right here, 0.50x plus, and what are we adding? Well, we're adding this to our original amount. Our original amount is 3 because it's $3 to rent it. So we can say um, y is 0 0.5 or 0.50x plus 3. And this is our linear relationship. We can actually graph this, which we'll do in a second, for writing our y equals mx plus b. Let's try another example. A bamboo reed is planted 
when it is 12 centimeters tall. So it's already 12 centimeters tall. It grows 2.2 centimeters per week. So we want to write this in the form y equals mx plus b. And to do that, we can kind of, some of y'all will see this real quick. So we start with our y equals and the m. What is changing? Well, 2.2 centimeters per week. So every week, x is going to stand for the amount of weeks here. So we can 2.2x. Actually, I'll write this in yellow. And we can add this to our original amount. What is our original amount when, when um, x is 0? Um, it is going to be 12. 12 centimeters is what we have here. So we can write this as y equals 2.2x plus 12. Now, can we graph this? So y equals 2.2x plus 12. Um, I came up with this quick little graph, and you can make this too real fast. But um, it's not super neat, but we can kind of get the idea. And we can get a couple values in, and I can show you that this is actually a linear um, equation when we do it. So y equals 2.2x plus 12 is what we have x plus 12, and um, we can put in a couple values for this to see how it graphs. So um, we can create our table like we did previously here on the side and down the middle. So we have our x and our y, and so at um, one week, at the bottom here is weeks, and fix that K. At the top, we know that this is um, centimeters right over here. So I'll just centimeters and we'll abbreviate it. So after one week, after one week, if we fill in a one right here where this is, we get 2.2 .2 plus 12, which would give us 14.2 centimeters. So at one week here, I move to right here one week, I'm going to go up to 14.2, which would be just after 14, and I could put a dot, it's not going to be perfectly neat, but about right there, 14.2. Cool. All right, let's do one at two weeks. So at two weeks, I can go right there. Two weeks, I come in here, I'm actually just going to erase out. I'm going to make this 2.2 .2 at two weeks, 2.2 .2 times 2 is 4.4, .4. plus 12 would get me 16.4, so at two weeks I'm coming up, 16.4 uh, should get me about right here, and um, you can see how we'll start with a straight line. By the way, if we were at zero, we know we're starting at 12, so I'm going to put a line kind of like right there, and we'll do one more with three, and Seems I made an error here. Sorry, guys. It should have been 14.2. This one should be 16.4. Now I got it right. Okay. And then um, the last one we would do is put a 3 in there. So um, if we put 3 right here, 2.2, .2, I erase it. I fill in a 3. I should get 6.6 .6 in here. And that should give me 18.6 when I add it together. And we'll see real quick that after three weeks, my, uh, right over here, oh, this should have been right here. Apologize, guys. And this should be at 18.6, which gives me a better linear relationship after three weeks. And you can see how this is forming a line. Program doesn't let me draw it as straight as I'd like to, but I could connect these here and we would get a line that goes in a linear relationship this way. One more word problem here, and you can try it on your own. I got some space on your notes page. Arlene started with 120 football cards. She bought a pack of 12 cards each week. So let's graph this and see what we can get. Um, and actually, we'll write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b here. And so remember, our y and x could stay, so our y equals, 
um, our M, what is changing each week? So 12 cards each week. So it could be that 12 is changing each week, 12 times our X. And we're adding that to, what, do, what does she start with? She starts with 120 cards. So at zero weeks, she's got 120. And then um, after we write this, we could put it on a graph and then kind of prove that we have a linear equation by doing it this way. So our table is over on the right at zero weeks. Right here, she'd have 120 card. At one week, she'd have 132. Two weeks, 144. Three weeks, 156. Four, 168. Five, 180. And um, we could actually connect this. It's not super straight, but it would make our linear equation true. And this little part right here where it says in parentheses 5 and 80, that means what does 5.5 5 and 180 stand for right here? In this given um, situation, it's kind of a word problem really, but what does that stand for when you're at 5 and 180? Well, we go back to our word problem. Arlene started with 120 football kid, uh, cards. She bought a pack of 12 cards each week. What does that stand for? What it stands for at five weeks, she would have 180 cards. So that's the information we get. So this is um, writing and graphing um, linear equations in the form y equals mx plus b.